Welcome back. So inflation is having an impact on everyone across the country. And according to Statistics Canada, food is the area where people have been affected the most. In August, the retail inflation rate was 9.9%, its highest point since 1981. That's the bad news, let's face it. But the good news is our next guest is here with inflation shortcuts to help our, keep our grocery bills in check. Please <laughs> welcome Zero Waste Chef and Love Food, Hate Waste Canada Ambassador, Christine Tissot. Welcome <laughs> We are so glad you're here with us to help us save with great tips. So let's dive in. Uh, your first one is that we should stock up on cheaper pantry items that last forever. So what are those items? So yes, there are things we can buy that last indefinitely. Okay. Which is great. And these are cheap things, so let's stock up on them. Okay, what the are they? The first one, dried beans. They're cheaper uh, than canned mm -hmm. beans mm -hmm. because they're dry. They have an indefinite shelf life, plus they're highly nutritious and full of fiber. So let's stock up on them. Never thought about that. Okay, got Personal it. Personal favorite, popcorn. Because microwave popcorn has a best before date. It goes bad and it's cheap, cheap, cheap. Yeah. Then my next one is rice, but specifically white rice indefinitely. Okay. And then the third one, and this is a little old school, but the good old bouillon cubes. Oh, they last things. forever. Those Tetra Packs, you open them up and then you get another seven days out of them in the fridge. So in a pinch, the bouillon cubes add flavor, stews, soups, you got it right there. This is taking me back to early COVID days. This is kind of the way that like, remember everyone was buying all this, you're just like, I, I might not leave the house ever again. Yeah. We left the house, it's good. Uh, let's talk about best before dates because um, a joint report from Dalhousie University and the Angus Reid Institute found that the majority of Canadians are actually against eliminating best before dates on food packaging in a push to reduce food waste, right? So even though these yeah. best before dates are nebulous and strange, what are your thoughts? So, um, yes, I, I have a problem with the best before dates, but even though I have a problem with them, I'm still for them because I do think it gives the grocery store some accountability for how long it's been on the shelf. Like, right. how are we supposed to know if we don't see it written on there? Plus, I do think they serve us with a gentle reminder to maybe smell the meat before we put it on our mm. sandwich. Right, right, right. Right? Yeah. 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 But you just take it as a guideline, right? You don't have to so, be... No, it's best before. Right. So, for example, this is why they're a little deceiving. These are some items that last way beyond their best before yeah. date. Okay. Yeah. What are and they, they can they? help us. And they're cheap. So, canned vegetables and fruits. Two years past their best before date. Two years? Two years. Two years. <laughs> okay. That's just not a week. Like that is why don't oh, they just, just make it like a year <laughs> later and save on the wow. Just wait. Just wait. Honey will last forever. <laughs> Even after you open it. Okay. But they still put a best before date on the honey, no? Yes, they do. Okay. What else? Maple syrup? Uh-huh. Two years unopened. Okay. Once you open it, you put it in your fridge. But two years past past best before date. And then you have peanut butter. Two years. Once again, and then my two personal faves: yeah. dark chocolate. Five years. Five years. Five years. Okay, good. Good. Five years. Love dark chocolate. Good. Good to know. Okay. And what else? The other personal fave: the canned tuna. Okay. So canned tuna is cheaper than the tuna you buy fresh because it's a different variety. It's a white variety. It's easier to catch, easier to store, etc. It's in a can, so it's cheaper, but five years. Five years. Okay, so yeah. speaking of tuna, though, you've used canned tuna in this Neptune pasta recipe. Tell us about it. So this recipe was inspired to make a little bit of seafood go a very long way. So it's a basic pasta recipe. Think about that Italian aglio olio, the garlic and olive oil. But then I've added dill, lemon, and then your canned tuna with a little bit of chili. I love a tuna pasta. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's very like, it, it, it reminds me a little bit of summer but I feel like you could do this any, year, any time yes, of year. Yes, for sure, 100%. What about food items, excuse me, outside of the pantry? What, what are your tips to cut costs So there? when it comes to produce items, because even that's going up, stock up on produce items that are larger. <laughs> so they feed more people, but also you get more meals out of them. I mean, look at this, right? Yeah. Look at this. And all of these items will last you up to three months. So things like squashes, things like your potatoes, things like 
my lovely rutabaga. Three months if stored properly. Okay, speaking of rutabaga, you brought your raw rutabaga chicken Waldorf salad yes. for us to try. Um, rutabaga, I've never cooked with it. Me I neither. I barely know what it looks like. So, um, oh, I have. It's a turnip. Oh, it's, wow. it's a turnip. No, it's, not it's, not it's not. The turnips are the smaller ones. Oh, I have okay. cooked with that before. Okay, all right. Okay. Yes. Okay, so this is, let's try the salad. What, what, what's a what's uh, Classic Waldorf salad. You have all of those wonderful things, but I've added some crunchy rutabaga. So mm. when I was a kid, I grew up in Newfoundland. We had lots of mashed rutabaga. wasn't a fan of it. So when my parents were preparing it, I'd always steal a couple pieces raw. And I always wondered, well, why am I eating it all mashed up when I can eat it raw? And it tastes really good. It has an earthy Sweet crunch. Is it I'm like trying an to find apple it. Piece? Oh, there's like, apple in it too. Okay, okay. Yes. I guess so this we can one, differentiate this, between the apple and the. This one is the rutabaga. This, mm -hmm. no, I don't that's know. I, maybe that's you didn't get any. Okay, maybe you didn't okay. get any. No, oh no, that's this the rutabaga. This one. Okay, got oh, it. No, no. Rutabaga. I just needed to meet it. Okay. Um, <laughs> you say that cooking with tofu is a good way to save money. Why is that? So I'm not a vegetarian at all, but I love myself some crispy tofu, tofu that's nicely marinated and. The firm stuff, like anything, marinade, dry rub, anything like that that you would typically use for your meat or your poultry or your seafood can be put on tofu and marinated. And a block of tofu costs between two and four dollars and will feed two people. Mm. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm trying this, hold okay. on, get in there. You try it, and then I'm talk about the next mm -hmm. grocery hack. You're saying that we should buy cheap cuts of meat. Like, what? what is the cheapest cut? So, chicken, I'm having wing night once a week, mm. and Marinate the wings, yep. put them in the oven on the barbecue, it's great. When you're coming to like beef, I'm opting for more of like the flank steaks instead of the New York strips. Albeit these cheaper cuts tend to be more tough or need a little bit more love. So we are gonna be spending more time in the kitchen marinating and things like that, but we are going to be saving money. So this is something that I made with ground beef, but I switched up half of the ground beef for lentils. Oh. So split red lentils will cook in five minutes and you can kind of boost, you know, your sauce or whatever you're making with those lentils, plus you're mm. adding fiber. So this is a uh, lentil beef bolognese mm. that also has a boost of lentils. It's boost very of lentils, nice, very smart. really good flavor and we're saving money. Thank you so much, Christine, oh, for right. being here. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are helping us fight food inflation with these great tips. To find more of these cost-cutting cutting recipes, head to our YouTube channel, um, the social CTV after the show. And on hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like, and subscribe.